Hello everybody and welcome to another Shadercraft tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to look at this shader that uh, randomly assigns a color or generates a color or any actually value that you want based on the normal of the surface. So it depends on where each surface is facing. It's gonna give it an a, a random value. In this case I'm using it for um, coloring this, uh, this surface, right? Um, we have the multiplier, which uh, defines, if you can see here, it defines the uh, the value change needed between different angles to give a different result, and just a seed control, which you know you can change the seed. Yeah, so let's just jump into it. It's uh, quite simple. Let's close this guy. We start by getting the normal vector, um, and we are gonna get it in object space such that if we are to rotate the object, um, then it will it will take that into account. And we get the dot product with some uh, vector of your choice. Right. Um, in this case, I, I made it like this. And if you change it, it's basically just going to change the orientation of this whole thing, right? Uh, so the dot product of the two looks something like this. And then uh, if we multiply it by the multiplier, and then we get the floor of that. Um, and then we can add the seed to that. And uh, if you use that as the seed for a random range, you will get something like this. And of course, this uh, shader does not really work for anything smooth the, uh, the mesh has to be um, rigid or I don't know what to call it basically each face should be not smoothed out with the face next to it um, otherwise you will get something like this um, or like this but for a cube for example it will look just fine yeah, and then uh, to generate a random color, I am just connecting the output of the random range to the offset of a hue node, um, and I'm using the normalized range so, so that this offset is basically between zero and one. And um, yeah, that's uh, that's it, and that's gonna be it for this quick tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and consider clicking uh, on the links of my assets in the description. Uh, that's the only way I get support from you guys. So thank you so much and have a nice one.